One. Fuck your mama. Two. Fuck your sister. Three. Fuck your grandma. Most of all, fuck you. Excited about Rob Zombie's new movie 3 from Hell coming out later this year, I decided to take a look back at the series and review the first two movies. House of a Thousand Corpses starts off with a group of friends traveling across country who stop at Captain Spaulding's for gas. While there, they ask Spaulding about the place and get directions to a tree where a local legend was said to have been hanged. Jerry, I will saddle up the mule, ma! Slide me some grits! I just got to get me some education, Jerry! <laughs> you asshole! On the way to the tree, they made a woman by the name of Baby, who tricks the group into going to her home full of freaks and murderers. The characters were alright. Jerry, Bill, Denise, and Mary were a normal group of friends. Their acting was pretty good and reasonable when compared to some of the other horror movies where the scared teenage girl ends up becoming a badass who stops the bad guy. Now as far as our bad guys go, the only ones I liked were Captain Spaulding and Otis. Keep your paws where I can see. Yeah, don't move! I'll blast the holes of the size of a Kansas City watermelon through your ugly ass bozo face! What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Almost every scene with Spaulding left me with a smile. Sweet baby Jesus. Where's jerking up on that bell out there, baby? Oh, I come out, I'm gonna rip your nuts off. <laughs> Officers, officer, what can I do for you? And Otis was just a pretty good character. Fuck you, you fucking fuck. Baby was alright at times, but she was pretty annoying. The only scene I really enjoyed of hers was when she was lip-syncing to the song. Get off him! I said get the fuck off him, you stupid fucking whore! Fucking smut! You shouldn't have done on. that. Oh, really? Are you gonna do something about do it? Do something, motherfucker. Yeah. Come on! I'll fucking cut your tits off and shove them down your throat! Other than that, she seemed just as useless as the mom and grandpa characters that I straight up hated. What are you, Jimmy Olsen? Cub reporter for the Daily Asshole? Grandpa, watch your language! The story was pretty good. We watch as a family of killers torture a group of friends, which was alright, and the moments leading up to the torture, like the opening with Captain Spaulding's or the peaceful time at the killer's home, was really enjoyable. It'll day quick, play with his brick. Don't the smell just make you sick? Stop singing, I hate that song! Oh, fucking mask back on! <laughs> The kills in this movie were pretty good for the most part. There are a couple we don't get to see, like Jerry's, and some really bad ones, like the fake-looking policeman's death. Excuse me, ma'am. Over. 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 I remember too. Some of them look good, like when Baby stabbed one of the women to death, or when Spaulding shot one of the men in the face. Well, okay, that kill was alright, but I mainly enjoyed it because of the comedy going on. Now, before we're moving to the end, I hated the transitions. That's true. He performed lurid acts upon me and my person. The transitions and the scenes with the horrible looking screen effects, like turning everything purple, just, it took me out of the movie. And the only reason I didn't skip through those scenes was because I wanted to watch the full movie for this review. The ending was really unsatisfying. I didn't like the whole Dr. Satan stuff and thought the whole chase stuff was stupid. In the end, our final girl managed to escape but ends up catching a drive with Captain Spaulding and Otis. Sweet baby Jesus girl, what the hell happened to you? This is one of those movies where nobody lives. And if done right, those endings can still be good, but I just didn't enjoy this one. I would give House of a Thousand Corpses a 3 out of 5. It was alright, but nothing special. The only parts I really liked were when Captain Spaulding was on screen. His stuff was really fun and enjoyable. And after his stuff's done with, we're left with a generic wannabe splatter film by Rob Zombie. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share your thoughts on the movie or my review in the comments below. I'd love to read them. I'll see you back here with The Devil's Rejects.